Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. We're going to be doing these videos every day now, guys, including Saturday, so I hope you all enjoy that. Now, let's go ahead and head to Wuxing Industries, I believe it was called. Yeah, Wuxing Incorporated, and mess up some feng shui. I think that's the only one that we have available, so... Geomantic Sabotage. Sounds fun. So let's go with... They said we needed to take Gobbit, so we're going to definitely take Gobbit. Um, hmm. Who else could we take? Don't want to take Felicia Day. Uh, let's grab, since we're heading into... Let's go ahead and take ISO. And we took Duncan in the last one, as well as Gaichu. So let's go ahead and take Ractor for some of our heavy fighting. Now, in terms of our inventory, I think we take care of that next. Everything looks pretty good so far, so let's go ahead and confirm. And travel to the Wuxing Sky Tower. Kind of curious where the story goes from here. And if messing up the feng shui is going to make the walled city worse. That's my primary concern about messing up good karma. Bad key. The subway flies over the tracks toward Aberdeen. Monsoon humidity clings to your skin, as if it's followed you from Hoi. Or perhaps it's simply sunk this far into the earth, penetrating stone and machine, rousing the acrid smells of Hong Kong's underground in its wake. You've been handed a promising job. Geomantic sabotage, with a single objective. Disrupt the flow of Wu Jing Qi to destabilize the corporation. Your client is especially keen on the idea of Wu Jing's famed geomancy being used against it. The ultimate humiliation. So it's not for everyone, it's just for their corporation, I see. While the corporation's office spaces are free game, the main target is Wu Jing's treasured lotus statue, which resides within a temple on the topmost floor of the monolithic building. Your client's instructions are clear. The more damage you do, the worse the key, and the better the pay. Well, this looks fun. Now, we've got all that. We've got new spells, items. I guess we can go ahead and... Should we go ahead and have this with us? Spirit summoning one. Well, I guess we could go ahead and hand that off to Gobbit, since she has spirit summoning. There we go. Because you never know. So our spells are in good shape. Let me see here. Magic resistance, killing hands, manifest, and quick strike. Yep. Looks good. Let's do this. Now I feel better knowing that it's just the key of the corporation and not the outlying area. They didn't really word that specifically in the, in the mission spec. Gain access to executive offices. Mission item added, spoofed ID. The subterranean access way opens to one of Wuxing Sky Tower's few employee-only entrances. As the only underground access point to Wuxing's restricted levels, security is tight. It's unheard of for unauthorized personnel to reach the upper levels. Naturally, that's where you're headed. Gobbit presses a slip of laminated plastic into your hand. A grainy black and white reproduction of your own face stares back at you. The rest of the card is filled with a barcode. She leans in to whisper into your ear. Kindly wanted you to have this. Spoof credentials, fresh off of Maximum Law's card printer. These should get you past the front door. Wouldn't count on them getting us much further, though. I guess the client said something about other ways to bypass the check-in system inside the building, but he didn't go into specifics. She shrugs. Kindly had some choice words about that, but whatever. We'll find a way past security. Almost on cue, a sturdy Wu Jing security officer peers up at you from behind his desk console. Evening, sir. Swipe yourself in. He gestures to the ID scanner in front of him. Alright. He looks at his console, then back at you. His eyes rouse rise as he observes your company. You realize your credentials only allow you access to floor 10, right? Well, I can't work without them. The officer straightens up, caution overtaking his features. And why is that? Hmm. They've just joined my crew. I'm escorting them to new hires meeting. If you've received authorization for your authorization for your crew prior to today, then you can pick up their credentials at the check-in terminal. As long as they're cleared, you're good to go. And he hesitates, looking you and yours over. 
you are cleared, right? Definitely. Good. He waves you on your way. Be on your way, then. Alright. Employees only beyond this point. <laughs> Come along, employees. Oh, we had guards to the side of us. I didn't even notice that. Let us explore the rest of this handy-dandy place. Wow. Security is very, very tight. Security guard. Wu Jing employee check-in. Looks like we have a place to deck, too. I am very, very glad we brought ISO on this job. Welcome to the Wu Jing employee check-in station. Kick in the bottom panel and start yanking out wires. <laughs> okay. Troll smash. A swift kick knocks over a cover loose and allows your fingers to slip into exposed panel. A few tugs and rips and there's a decent amount of sparks coming off the terminal. Things to be operational, but the damage is certainly conspicuous. Do 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 do. Alright, let's go ahead and check in, maybe? Please enter your employee credentials. Let's swipe the spoofed ID. Warnings. Credentials expired or incorrect. Whoops. Any further attempts to access this terminal before refreshing your employee credentials will alert security. Alrighty. Can we... No. The, we don't want to verify credentials. That would be bad. How about you, security guard? The guard watches you with suspicion as you approach. You seem confused, sir. Something I can help you with? Yeah, I was just over at the check-in terminal. Noticed some loose, sparking wires. That's a fire hazard, isn't it? She glances at the terminal. No, thank you for informing us. We'll file a maintenance request right away. Hmm. But the terminal isn't letting me check in. How am I supposed to get any work done while your request sits on someone's table? She looks around nervously, then leans in. Yes, okay, yes, you're right. Let's lower our voice, hmm? No need to drag the captain into this. We can handle this quickly. Oh, that scared me. If you tell the maintenance worker. I'll let you in this once, but you can't tell anyone. Got it? She turns to the door. Now hurry it up. Okay, so we got access to that door. Can we come in here? Knock, knock. Wu Jing employee. A couple of wage slaves amble about their business inside the corporate locker room. The closest man to you flings a jacket into a locker, then turns toward the showers. He stops short when he catches sight of you, and his wary eyes widen in surprise. Ah, good evening. He glances behind him, and assured by something, turns back towards you with a smile. I'm Charles. I haven't seen your face before. Are you new here? Yeah, I'm new to this building. Charles sighs. I know how that goes. I'm pretty new here myself, still learning the ropes. Hmm. Any tips for a fellow neophyte? Yes, the upper floors are off-limits. Highly restricted. He glances around and lowers his voice. Not sure what's happening up there, but only company exec, security, and maintenance have access. Do they all have special passes or something? Couldn't say. Never been to those floors to check. They could be using special passes or even scanning retina. Or retina. But I think with how often maintenance is called up there, it can't be too time-consuming. Gotcha. Thanks for your help. Anytime, friend. Good luck. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, that's something. Now, I know we probably have already passed what needs done, but I like going into the Matrix, so... ISO. It is time, ma'am. I need to get you all... logged in. And here we go. The Matrix help slide will give you a rundown on some of the features you'll encounter navigating through cyberspace, including system trace, matrix combat, and watcher IC. Alrighty. So here we go with more Metal Gear. Uh, <laughs> more Metal Gear ISO. I like this. Alright, let's get a look see here. where exactly I have to go. Looks like right here. Alright. 
Oh, Lord. Ooh, that was close. Now, which way do you turn? You turn that way. Alright. I think maybe I can do this. Well, I don't know. It's gonna be... This is gonna be rough going. Holy crap. Um... Hmm... Well, the Watcher I see right here doesn't notice anything to this point. So the second it turns around... There we go. So far, so good. Now, can I hustle? Now, do you get to see... Yeah. Right here. That's as far as I tread. And now. Oh, so close. Crap. All right. Um, can we do... Let's do a killer. Dang it. So close. Tar Blaster. Medic. Sniffer. We gotta kill this guy. The other ones are fine. They're not actively trying to hit me. So let's go for the killer once again. There we go. Blocker I see rating one. You can either attempt to hack the IC or force your way past it at the cost of additional system trace. For more details on hacker blocking IC, see the hacking slide help. All right, let's go ahead and look. Hacking. Press start and follow the match the sequence using your number pad or mouse to add more pips for more hack time. You can press next as soon as you even have one pip to start step two. Use the symbol clues here to look. Ba 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 ba. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Why not? Locker I C causes. 20 system. Yeah, let's go for it. Alright, and start. Alright. Oh. There we go. That's what we were doing. I'm sorry. Alright, um. There we go. Okay, W... Hmm. Interesting. 8-6... Eight, 8-6-1... Six, eight, six, ah! 8... We're not gonna make this. 8-7-7... Seven, seven. Alright. M... M-M. M. Ah! There we go, that's how we do it. Cool. That's a cool little mini game now that I know how to play it. A little bit stressful there for a sec. And we've got another one, heat suppression routine. Anything we can, hello, how you doing? Crap, hmm, and here's a portal. Let's do suppression. It's going to lower it down, down to 50 and give us zero trace. Now, what are you guys going to do? You're going to try and take me out? Alright. So, let's do killer to you, Mr. White IC. And you're down. Then leaves us with this guy. It's always the Tron thing. And it always goes back to Tron, doesn't it? Good guys wear, are in blue, bad guys are in red. I like the purity of that. So here's a new section we can go to. Let's see if we can block the IC. Now that we know what to do. Alright. 9 to... Okay. Uh. Ah, crap. Okay. Let's try that again. 
one seven nine one. All right. M W M W. There we go. Isobel's deck gives us plus five seconds too. That's awesome. Heat suppression routine. I'm sure that's significant somehow. Let's see what's going on here. More patrol. And not a whole lot to go for. So let's get behind this wall. Hmm. Oh! Man, I really need to start paying more attention to that. It's okay, the thing's gonna be dead here in a sec. If I get my... Have my way. Alright, so that's that path done. You're gonna be coming back down this path, won't you? I think. Yep, there you are. Okay. Run, 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 run. And left or right? I guess right. Yeah. Well, that was unpleasant. Now, the sniffer... Suppression. Oh, wow, we've got four turns before that can happen. To lower the trace by 50. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and... Do what needs done. Now, Tar Blaster. Let's keep you guys exactly where you need to be. Well, you can't move. That was actually some significant IP damage. Alright, Killer. Oh, you're behind cover. Dang it all. I haven't really taken any significant damage here yet. And we're at 70. Need to get to this. There we are. Now, can we do the tar again? Because that was pretty awesome, I have to say. That took out that one. There, now we actually got hit for once. We'll rush up and do killer program and use medic on ourselves. It heals for 75 IP. Now we have suppression back. So it gives our system trace of 30. And that takes every that takes our entire action. But now we know. Knowing's half the battle. And, cool. Access Administrative Override. Blocker IC rating 7. Hmm. Alright. Let's get started. Uh, ba 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 ba. Ah. Four two seven seven. All right, where are you guys at? M. Ah, okay. Hurry. Nine four. W. D M W. There we go. Got it. Whoo. Access Administrative Override. Okay, Security Override's done. We are probably doing a lot more than we actually need to, but... Now we run this way, because we already took out that drone. Awesome! Now, let's see where we can actually place ourselves. From what I'm seeing, 
It looks like... Okay, alternating paths. Hmm. Let's run this way. Oh, you're gonna catch me now, aren't you? Nope, turn the wrong way. Now we head this way. E Ack. Plus 20 trace. Ouch. That's not good. Did we kill him? Let business continue as normal. As you were. Yeah, not as you were. Not as you were. Now we run around this corner. <laughs> Oh man, I am not I am not uh used to this movement system yet. I got to get used to the old ways of doing things. Crap. Are we about to get traced more? Yes, we are. Okay, this way, please, and stay there. And hustle, 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 hustle. Nice. Okay. Wujing delivery data. Oh, nice. Alright, let's hack the blocker I see. Get some pay data. MW. MW. There we go. Got it. Okay. Let's get some delivery data. Wujing delivery manifest and ID. And I think that was everything. So instead of heading back there, I'm going to go ahead and... Jack out like so. Nice. Alright. So... I'm not sure about that security checkpoint. Let's go ahead and save the game real quick. Just in case I mess that up. And let's just head over here. See what lovely people are doing. Please insert your Wujing employee identification card. Yeah, no. No, no, no. We will head in over here first. Maintenance employee. Hello there, little dwarf. An oil-blotched dwarf half-heartedly scrubs at her hands above a sink. Her ragged clothing resembles a paint canvas covered in multiple hues of mechanical grime. With a slight turn of the head, she looks towards you. Need something? Hmm. Let's go ahead and try a lie. Your cooperation. I'm here to perform a security audit for Wujing. Well, ain't that wonderful. Her voice is thick with sarcasm, but I'll opt out. Wuxing's got me doing an air duct audit myself, and let me tell you, I've made some pretty upsetting discoveries. Disgusting, slimy, biohazardous discoveries. She half turns towards you and plants a gooey hand on her hip. Maybe when we're both done, we can compare findings, but right now I've got to get this crap off of me. Good luck to you. You'll need it. Oh, lovely. And what we got in here... You see an assortment of items scattered on the cart, but you find a badge that belongs to a maintenance worker. Okay, can we... Did we get that? Or do we have to knock you out? Was I not clear before? I'm busy. Gotcha. Alright. So I believe that is everything. I think what I did is that ISO hacked in and was able to get maintenance certification. So let's go ahead and swipe the spoofed ID. Invalid ID authentication failed. Not good. Just a moment, sir. S the scanner says your credentials didn't take. Let me see your ID. Hmm. Oh, wait. Forgot to renew my credentials. My mistake. I'll be right back and show security override. Right, of course. She nods. Well, go to the terminal and re-up your creds. Even with the past, you know I can't let you through. Ah, so that's why we were hacking in. Okay. Now that'll fix all the things. Use security override to gain administrative access. Welcome, admin. 
Alter existing credential clearance. Permissions granted. You're now able to alter the existing information and clearance level of a Wuxing employee ID. Please select an ID to alter. Spoofed ID. Heightened access employee ID. Cool. That should... Do we have to verify the credentials though? Just to make sure. Verify credentials. And your clearance will be reviewed shortly. Hmm. Okay, I think we should be fine. We've got the... Alright, let's swipe the heightened employee ID. Multi-personal pass accepted. Access granted. Welcome, Mr. C. Pang. Have a nice evening. The terminal emits a chirp of recognition. Everything checks out here. Thanks. Huzzah! And now we are going to move on to the next area, guys. That was really fun going through the Matrix, and this time we didn't um, emit a panic, you know, a mass panic and fight out. And now we know how to play the mini game, which is very fun. We'll go into the upper floors in the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.